we're in the sagittal plane, so we're going to use our bones for this, any force that's acting anterior to that hip joint, whether it's a muscle, whether it is a external moment, that force is going to be trying to flex that hip. So think about your hip flexors. They're all anterior to that hip joint. The same thing occurs if there's a ground reaction force anterior to your hip joint. That ground reaction force is going to try to cause flexion of that hip too. So any force that's anterior to the hip joint is going to be causing hip flexion. The first phase of the gait cycle that we'll talk about is weight acceptance. And weight acceptance is just initial contact plus that loading response. So in the sagittal plane, the ground reaction forces pass anterior to the hip joint. And as we just discussed, any force that's anterior to the hip joint is trying to cause an external hip flexion moment. So we need to counteract that external flexion moment with an internal force. So the muscles that can produce that internal moment, those are going to be our hip extensors. 